During a series of agile project meetings, you have observed that project stakeholders consistently reference the product's roadmap, detailing high-level objective and timeline for the next two years. Any deviation from this roadmap seems to make them uncomfortable. As a project manager in the agile environment, how would you address this situation to better align stakeholder expectations? So what I'm learning from this particular question, even before looking at the option is, the problem is the stakeholders are taking roadmap as a plan, as a project plan, as a committed plan, which will get done. Something like many a time you have waterfall tendency where people think it's a baseline and we need to follow this baseline without any deviation. That's the situation the question is presenting and asking how would you deal with these project stakeholders in such kind of situation? Let's see the option. Option A, insist the team strictly adhere to the original roadmap to maintain stakeholder confidence. Now, insisting on sticking to the roadmap is making me running it as a predictive life cycle project rather than as an adaptive project. Now, somebody will say, but roadmap is at a high level. We can still stick to it. The idea here is the word stick itself is, is a kind of, of smelly thing. It might be showing me that I am not flexible. So I would look for better options because I don't want to make the roadmap as a frozen roadmap and we just strictly adhere to that particular situation. Yes, meeting the commitment, increase stakeholder confidence. That's a good idea, which is coming in the option A, but insisting on strictly adhering is not a that great idea. Option B, update the roadmap to be more detailed and add contingencies into it. Ensure predictability with the flexibility since you added the buffer. So this is a little better than A, yeah, I would say, but it is still focusing on creating a situation where I am creating a project plan with lots of contingency because I believe things are at a high level. We may have a more errors in our estimate. So I'm adding contingency, but my goal as an as a option is still showing that I want to make sure that whatever roadmap we are pre presenting, we adhere to that. So that seems to be an option B. Better than option A because it is not using our strictly, but uh, uh, not so good because it is still focusing on making a roadmap pretty much predictable with the help of contingencies. Let's see option C, create a joint meeting with the stakeholders in the team to revisit the roadmap and make it clear and detailed so it can be followed without deviation in the coming months. Now you may pick up, oh, it's a collaborative thing. Whenever we have a PMP question which talks about meetings, it's always good. This doesn't look like good idea. Again, it is still focusing on, we will stick to the plan, but in order to make a plan better, let's do a little bit bottom up estimate. Let's do a little conversation about it. Let's involve teams so that they can estimate it well, and then we can make it and stick to it. Yeah, so we can say we'll make it more detailed uh, so that it can be followed without deviation. Not a good idea. Let's see if we are only left with the D. Uh, organize a session with the stakeholders to reiterate the agile philosophy, emphasizing adaptability and importance of responding to change over following a fixed plan. That seems to be a perfect answer. And now you may say it may not be addressing the situation directly. It is. It is addressing by way of saying that, yes, we need to look at a roadmap, but always insisting on strictly adhering to it doesn't make us agile. It is not the whole idea for which we have selected the adaptive life cycle. So we need to understand since we are in the adaptive life cycle, we are expected to learn and improve. That's why we chose the adaptive life cycle rather than we want to predict and stick to it. Yeah, so that's a little bit mindset question and option D looks great idea in this particular situation. So let's look at ECOs. So in case of uh, uh, this particular question, people domain, because we are consistently focusing on collaborating with stakeholders. We are also focusing on creating a shared understanding about our project values and approaches. Uh, it is focusing on topics like agile, progressive elaboration of, of things as we go along and uh, understanding the concept of a roadmap, which gives a direction, but it is not equal to a plan. It is not a commitment, rather it's a direction to guide and create alignment in the team and the stakeholders. Mm -hmm.